This video is sponsored by the org. Hey everyone, I'm back with an, another video and another topic. So today we're gonna discuss how to find motivation and brainstorm some ways to stay motivated while finding inspiration in life. Often we think of motivation as something temporary. It will come and go. While it's partially true because we are humans and we have up and downs, some recent researches indicate unlike the common belief that actions follow emotions or actions and emotions occur at the same time. I will explain more about it later and what it can mean for us, but the thing I'm trying to say is we can control our emotions in an indirect way and keep ourselves motivated long term. I also found out that some personality types can motivate themselves so easily while the others struggle a lot and may need extra help. I'm naturally a self-motivated person but I know it's not the case for everyone so in order to help those struggle with finding a motivation resource or inspiration I brought together a few ways to get motivated in your daily life and maintain that motivation long term. Make your pen and paper ready since you may want to write down these tips. I'm gonna start with the first idea. See your end goal. I especially do this when I feel like I come up short on my daily to-do lists, admin work or my workout program because it reminds me why I started at the first place. Imagine yourself doing an intense cardio workout but you're super fatigued and your mind tries to slow you down, tells you that taking a break is fine. Now visualize the dream body you want to achieve from your vision board and bring in all the feelings as you have it already. See people's reactions to your transformation. See yourself being the face of Nike or Adidas. How your body feels? Do you have the energy to keep going? 100% yes. Take this example and apply it to the other aspects of your life that you think you need motivation or simply complete this sentence. I choose to do this because. Explore your motivation resources. Search old memories and find what made you feel motivated before. It can be as simple as a high vibe morning, a short conversation, or a show you watched. Pick one of these and ask yourself, what particularly gave me motivation at that moment? What was happening? What was inspiring? This way you can dig deep of every moment in your life and and find new motivation resources that you didn't think you have before. I felt really motivated after meeting my friends at a coffee shop. What's the exact motivation here? The conversation, going out, coffee or friends. Take some time to reflect if you need and when you came up with the answers, try to bring more of them into your daily life. Always keep this in mind. The more you know yourself, the easier it gets to motivate yourself. Going out for a walk. There is something special about going for a walk, especially on a sunny day. I heard from my friends and people so many times that they instantly feel so good as soon as they step outside and get fresh oxygen. I go for walking twice every week and not only I feel motivated and refreshed after each walk, but I also make this time inspiring by listening to podcasts or motivational speeches. So right now, nothing on earth can replace this ritual for me. Try online surfing. If going out is not a cup of your tea, you may want to discover new platforms, research opportunities, find inspiring people, and this also can give you a great boost of motivation. Sometimes when I feel down, I open up videos that will entertain and inspire me at the same time. But instead of surfing, if you're someone who genuinely wants to get better in his or her career while working remote, I totally get you since I worked as a social media manager before. I wasn't able to meet with the other members of the media team and really get to know about my colleagues even though we used to speak every other day or so. Today building better and efficient relationships with your team members and keeping yourself motivated as you work on advancing your job is more easy than ever with the org. With the world's first truly transparent professional network you can see the org charts of top companies around the world. Thanks to the 
org platform, you can find out who is actually in your team, a short info about their job title and which person you should send the project to. So you don't have to waste your time with come and goes just because you don't know who's responsible like it happened to me before. Additionally, having an org chart helps to structure your work environment a lot better so you can be more productive in your career journey. On the other hand, org allows you to understand your colleagues' communication style which can lead to strong and healthy relationships and eventually promotions within the company. The whole system is so incredibly simple that I'm sure you're gonna love it as much as me. By the way, don't forget to stay on top with the industry news using the iterate section. If you would like to support me and my channel, you can check out the link down below to sign up today. It's absolutely free. Get social. If you're an introvert like me, you probably spend so much time alone, but even though we enjoy being on our own, getting social and changing our environment time to time can give us tons of fresh energy and inspiration. Most of the time, we underestimate the influence of the people around us and look up to highly successful people, but even a small story can actually be inspiring or the opposite, exemplary. Wherever the motivation or inspiration comes from, or however it comes, just embrace it and move on. Play cheerful music. This is like one of the most efficient and instant ways to lift up your mood, so I do this almost every day. Just hop on Spotify, type happy hits, pop, beats, whatever speaks to you, grab your AirPods, press play and start moving around, getting things done slowly. For chill and motivating songs, you can check out my playlists on Spotify. Let the motivation follow your action. Sometimes the motivation you need is not gonna come until you start. We think of actions as something that follows emotions, but as a matter of fact, researchers prove that actions and emotions are occurring simultaneously, which means by changing our actions that are under our control, we can reach targeted emotions that are not under our control. If you can really understand its power and integrate it to your own life, I'm sure you can build a solid self-discipline that will lead to more controlled and balanced emotions as well as a high sustainable motivation level. My relationship with motivation can be summarized like this. I never completely rely on motivation since I know it's the state of mind. I believe in self-discipline since I know it's the trait of character. Lastly, I would like to open a bracket and say the lack of motivation you feel might be linked to a mental health issue if you're feeling this way for a long time, so please consider conducting to an expert and getting professional help. Alright, these were some effective ways to get motivated and stay inspired. If you still struggle with finding motivation in life, know that it's a process and remember what I said about actions and emotions. I wish you a happy and healthy day. Till next time, bye!